Coming up, we'll take a look at an event here at FHS celebrating different cultures and get to know more about the FHS Color Guard. We'll also see how underclassmen are finishing the year now that the seniors are gone. I'm Laura Kate Moore. And I'm Natalie Harris. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to our final Bulldog Weekly of this school year. Today is Friday, May 20th. We've got a great show planned. Let's start with some local news. As we near the end of the school year, election season is starting to heat up. Primary elections are being held all across our state on Tuesday, May 24th, and you can make your voice heard today. Early voting is already underway and continues until Election Day this coming Tuesday. Make sure to visit the Washington County Election website to find voting centers near you. If you ordered a yearbook, please come by the yearbook room, Phase 4, room 2414, this week and pick it up before the school year ends. There will be no access to the books over the summer. If you are not sure if you ordered one, you can contact yearbook advisor Stephen Teague at the address on your screen. Attention Rising Juniors 26 Club is now accepting applications. This club is made up of 13 juniors and 13 seniors, and responsibilities include planning activities for the student body such as homecoming, colors day, and other projects. Students remain members of the 26 Club during both their junior and senior years. Applications can be submitted by filling out the form in the link shown on your screen. The form closes on Friday, May 20th at 4 p.m. FHS is full of students from many different cultures and tries to celebrate those differences throughout the year. FHS TV reporter Aiden Mills gives us a behind-the-scenes look at a special event honoring those many cultures. As our school celebrates Pacific Islander Month, we wanted to ask some FHS students why it's important to them. What is this? This is a place for you to learn about other people's cultures and what it means to them and what, all, what their culture is like. So the event that we have going on down here today is raising awareness about a lot of things that are happening in the month of May. We have um, Asian Pacific Islander Month, but then also we have Mental Health Awareness Month and also Jewish Heritage Month. So it's a really cool thing that all of these things are coming together to have awareness raised for them. So this is about other um, countries and other uh, generations of other people. It means a lot to people because of cel celebrating their uh, culture. Why is this important to me? This is important to me because I really think it's important to learn about other people's cultures when you may not know much because it's just, it's kind of sad when you don't really know about other people's cultures that well and it's just a great opportunity to learn. This just goes to show, if you keep your mind open, there's always wonderful and new exciting things to learn. I'm Aiden Mills from FHS TV, back to the desk. Thanks Aiden, and thank you to AP Ambassadors for holding such a great event. If you are interested in proposing a new club for next school year, please fill out the form in the student announcements. Remember, this is a proposal and doesn't guarantee the club will be approved. You must have a staff member and agreements to sponsor your club for it to be considered. Please contact Mr. Collier if you have any questions. If you are in need of some spring cleaning, you can donate your clothes to the Eco Fashion Club. They are preparing for their first fundraiser and need your help. Donate your clothes in Ms. Stoker's room 2952 or email the address on your screen to coordinate a pickup. All clothing, jewelry, shoes, and accessories are accepted. The Fayetteville football program is looking for any upcoming 9th through 12th grader who would be interested in becoming a filmer for the football program. Dependability is a must. Any experience flying a drone is welcome, but not mandatory. If interested, please contact Coach Davenport or Coach Dick. The FHS Color Guard is an award-winning program here, but not many people know how much work goes into their performance. FHS TV is here to give you an inside look at this program and how it runs. My parents are both teachers. My mom was, was a band director. My dad taught chemistry and now works with educational development. So I kind of grew up in the world of education and um, basically spent my childhood in a band room. So came by it pretty naturally and just knew from pretty early on, around seventh or eighth grade, that this is what I wanted to do. 
Um, my primary instrument that I play is trumpet. That's what I, uh, my college scholarship was a trumpet scholarship. Um, and that's what I started on in sixth grade. My sophomore year of high school, knowing that I wanted to be a band director, I started playing the clarinet, so that's my secondary. Children of band directors call ourselves BDKs, band directors kids. And part of that is, um, I remember there being things that I was not able to do as a kid because it conflicted with band rehearsal or a football game or a, a, a contest. So I was kind of always uh, you know, in tow um, at those events. A lot of people feel like maybe music isn't for them or that they aren't musically um, inclined. And one of the things we talk to beginners, regardless of which level it is, is that um, the point of, of beginning is just that, to begin, to start the process. And so we welcome any student who is interested and passionate about um, learning new things or trying new things to join one of our programs. And all three of our music programs, band, choir, and orchestra, work very closely together to provide students with a really high level experience. Um, you know, one of the first things that I ask our students in music appreciation is what music means to them and, and how it impacts them. And one of the things that every student says, it gives them a place to disconnect and to process what they're feeling. And so I think that's true for everyone. Um, and I certainly use it that way. I never thought about um, why I loved music or, or if it was going to be a part of my life or not because it inherently just was. And so, um, you know, some of my favorite memories are, are being with my parents and um, the people that I ended up joining band with and, you know, going to college with. And um, I just can't imagine what my life would be like without it, and whether that's band or theater or guard. Um, it's just always been part of who I was. Coming up after the break, we'll hear from Caitlin Shaw with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. What's up, sports fans? The spring sports season is coming to an end, and Fayetteville still has one team playing. The FHS girls soccer team will take on Bentonville West for the state championship this coming Saturday. The game is a rematch from last year's contest, where the Lady Bulldogs brought the championship trophy home. The game is at 2 p.m. on Saturday at the Benton Sports Complex. As always, be sure to get out and support your dogs. That's all for this sports report. I'm Caitlin Shaw. Back to the desk. Thanks, Caitlin. We are almost to the end of the school year, and we took to the halls of FHS to find out how students are making it to the end of the year. We interviewed people from all around the school on their thoughts on the end of the year. I'm Arden Bramlett, reporting for the Bulldog Weekly. What are you looking forward to most this summer? Um, having fun, to be honest with you. Okay, what's your favorite memory of this school year? Uh, my favorite memory, probably nothing. So, what would you say your favorite type of grass is? Um, I would say that one, really green. Yeah, I agree. What are you looking forward to most this summer? Um, probably being able to drive the lake that you have for this school year. Um. Good grades, kind of. Um, making the varsity tennis team. You did? No, she no. didn't. No, she feeling <laughs> about school ending. <laughs> what? I'm really? How are you feeling about school ending? <laughs> Happy. What are you looking forward to most this summer? I'm just looking forward to being outside with my friends in the great weather. What's your favorite memory of the school year? My favorite memory is probably uh, all my baseball games and going to all the Friday night football games with my friends. 
How are you going to spend your summer days? Uh, I'll definitely sleep in a lot, probably get a job somewhere, and then after working, go hang out with my friends. What is an accomplishment from this school? I can't just like come up with that on the spot, you know? I mean, you're on baseball. Well, that's like probably boring too, you know? Okay, I mean, I set your A push table. It's an accomplishment. So, um. Oh. That's all we have for today. <laughs> That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Laura Kate Moore. And I'm Natalie Harris. We'll see y'all next year.